Greetings and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I have done a couple of things here. Let me just put a few things away. Um, I have gone and farmed a bunch of materials because we, uh, <laughs> it, the game has, uh, has received another patch and it's gotten quite a bit more grindy again, um, which is not that thrilling to me. Uh, so I went and I farmed a bunch of wood and some stone and other things. And I wanted to test if the lighthouse keeper would come and sure enough, he did. So, uh, the other thing I've been farming is insects. I hope to go fishing today. That would be pretty darn cool. Um, oh, I forgot to take the wine. Um, no, I won't go back and get it. It'll be fine. Uh, it, it'll be okay. We have, we'll have other opportunities to go to town. Um, I'm also collecting red mushrooms. I think that we need them later. So anyway, we're going to see the lighthouse keeper and as I was doing stuff, I was actually able to see him. My game is not completely bugged. Apparently people who have restarted the game after, I mean, restarted the whole character after the most recent patch have had no issues with NPCs not coming. Um, but I've been restarting the game, trying to give it a go uh, to see, and it has worked so far, both on that my test game and in this game. So I'm pretty confident that we will be able to continue and proceed with this character, even if there are some funky things. Um, now I've had a couple of questions. How am I able to build trunks under the church? Uh, if you haven't watched the whole series, uh, you, you won't know, but I did start building those trunks before the patch that removed them. So, all right, here is the astrologer. Let's give him the diary. Great, great. How many important things there must be in this book? Amazing. Okay, we've got a good story. I haven't felt so alive for a long time. So how can I open the portal on which hill? Let me see. You need to craft a spirit laser. But I don't know what a laser is, sorry. Should be crafted on the curbstone in front of the portal. Hmm. You need to craft it in two parts, an emitter and a barrel. And here we have three parts of the emitter. A mirror of pride, an eternal burning coal, and a salty fork. Uh, what about the second part? The second part of the book's text is covered with something sticky. I'll need to clean it off first. I think I'll need some acid to clean it. I gave up alchemy many years ago. It's really a dead-end occupation, but I know where you can get some acid. Okay. There should be an old woman in the swamp. She's definitely mad, but in the distant past, she once sold me chemical ingredients. Uh, okay. Where can I find that stuff? He wrote that his friends believed that all these things could be found in the town. Hmm, I don't understand this, but he wrote that they were the soul of the town. It all sounds like a delusion to me. Magic, ha, huh, what nonsense. If I were you, I'd start with something you can see. First, I eject the curbstone near the portal. Second, try to get to the town and find those items. Okay, uh, that's what we can do here. Let us go ahead and buy a book. Now, the latest patch has changed the sermon income, and I just had a sermon last Sunday, and I got all of, what was it, eight, eight silver? Yeah, so silver is very precious to us. We do need this. I think we'll get a couple of pens, uh, and that's all we can afford. I would like to get this too. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the red book we're gonna have to be spending a lot of skill points very shortly so let's get those we have mountains of green we don't need those at all okay so let's go um the good thing is we do have plenty of whetstones uh to sharpen our tools now one thing that i'd like to do in this uh particular game is play or, or get a fishing pole now i have heard there are better fishing poles and indeed you can see the shadow of one right over here so we need to get a better fishing pole. So to do this, we need to just buy fishing poles from this guy daily, as far as I can tell. Um, and this is very annoying. Uh, we might be able to sell this guy fish. So we're going to try to do that as well. Um, but we'll see how that works. So anyway, let's go. Um, we do want to collect some of these flowers. Oh, no, no. I don't want to get that rock. No, no, no. Just want to get these... Um, 
Don't really want to dig that stump. We can take it home. Whatever. I really just want to get the, um, no, no. Just the flowers, please. Yes. Because I'm looking mostly for insects. No, no. Stop getting too excited. Don't do that. No, stop, stop. Okay. Chuck that log over here just so we can get these flowers. These guys don't seem to have any butterflies. Now, I did pick up one tech that we did not have before. Uh, and that is the, let's just go look at it. It's here. It is the master gathering perk. And that enables us to, to get double the stuff from each of the gathers that we have here. Aha, we got a butterfly, that's nice. Um, we wanna visit this guy cause I wanna buy some hemp seeds as well. Hey, good. Hi, guy. How you doing? Trade. All right. I am not going to buy seed oil, even though we need seed oil. Uh, we're going to buy hemp seeds and we're going to grow some more hemp because this is the cheaper way to do it. We need to definitely conserve our cash at this point. No more going on wild buying sprees of getting all kinds of, uh, of nails and wood bits and things and stuff. Let me go here and see if there are pens. Yes buy these. Oh, there's a lady there. Hello. Okay. Uh, do I have anything to give? Ah, yes, I have one burial certificate. We might as well sell that while we're here. Now, one of the decent ways of making money is actually selling wine. So we're going to try to do that um, as one of our ways of making money. Uh, we will sell the burial certificate here. We could also sell this red wine that we have, and that'll bring us some income. So why not? Let's go. Now, um, some people ask me if this fish is the same as the one that, that the bishop wants. No, it is not the same. Uh, we need to get fish fillets, not cooked fish. Just raw fish fillets. All right, I'm going to go ahead and eat these flowers. Just eat them all. Oh, whoops. I ate too many. Whoops. I'm, I'm <laughs> having too many flowers. Okay. There's a bunch of nice flowers over here. Hopefully we'll get some moths. There's one or two. Good. Okay. Good. Get these. Okay. That's fine check on our vines as well I actually forgot what day I planted them they might be ready or they're no they're not okay that's okay though we're not terribly worried they will be ready soon but yes we're going to have to make wine to sell to the, the landlord of the inn over there we're just gonna leave this um, these uh, logs over here because we have a pile full of them which is good all right, let me go ahead and eat these things. Oh, it's Sunday. Nice. Okay, so we can have a sermon, which is not going to be great. Mostly we don't have enough stuff. We really need to replace all of our candle holders with um, those fancy parts. These guys, the simple iron parts. These are, are they the complex ones? Oh, I've forgotten. Okay, in any case, we'll take both of them. Uh, I will leave the red mushrooms. I think I have a chest. Oh, yes. One of these things has red mushrooms. Those are there. And then the other things, the, the, the animals here, will leave there. Now then, I want to go down here quickly and plant some of these other things. Um, oh, I do have some peat. Perfect. Let's get the peat in here. Now somebody says that basically when, if you put a second thing of peat, all it does is replace it with um, a new kind of fertilizer. So there is no point to putting two things of peat. Uh, I have looked and uh, several people did mention that there are many different kinds of fertilizer that are in the crafting menu, which is yes, definitely true. Um, okay, we're good with this. Uh, basically it's in this section here, simple fertilizers and then complex ones. We do need to get some alchemy going uh, in order to work that. 
Uh, to that end, there is a wonderful, wonderful chart on the wiki that tells you exactly what you need for alchemy. So um, that is something we will get into. But today I would really like to concert. Oh, and I forgot the thing, didn't I? How unfortunate. Okay, let me take candles. Okay, and a sermon. Which one? We'll do the prayer for donations. Um, at the moment, we really are going to have to get our church up to snuff because right now it is not working at all. All right, we want to do candelabra two. So we need to remove some of these guys for now. Can I up? I can't upgrade those. That's right. Okay, candelabra two. Let's remove these two for now. Okay. Oh, I could remove them all, actually. I could just set them all for removal anyway. And they still count toward the church score, so that's all right. There we go. That's fine. Okay, so let's get out of here and... We will just add the ones that we can. We are going to lose a little bit of iron parts on these guys, but that's okay. It'll be okay. Uh, all right, candelabra two. Let's just add the ones we can. Oh, that's right. We don't even have to build them. Okay. Let's take these off. Um, I don't want to take those just yet. Because we might want to build the uh, confessional and the shrine out there instead. Let's see if we can build a couple more of these guys. Ah, we don't have enough parts for the, the last one. That's okay, though. We'll be fine. Um... That's, that's very nice. Okay, so what we're going to do is just add candles to all of these things here. Let's see, take these guys here. Now, the bishop might have already left, so I don't know. I don't remember if we talked to him about having the... Oh, here he is. Hello. Okay, the church is looking good. The church is shining bright, your holiness. It's nothing compared to the town cathedral, but for a church, it isn't half bad. Just a couple steps left, and we can upgrade this church. All right, we can get fish later. Candles? No, we're not going to buy any candles because we can't really afford it. We're going to start making our own candles. Uh, good candles, actually. All right, church quality is plus 25. Let's use the sermon prayer for donations. So let's craft this and have a go. We really need to get our graveyard going, and that's going to be our next project, I think. I'd like to say some words. Our church, great. Nice. Oh, yeah. And now let us pray for this blessing. Even with this, this is the prayer for donations, we're still getting a lot of faith uh, because we have um, a lot of these candles burning. So um, that, that really helps us get more people packed into the church and stuff like this. So look at those donations. They're so tiny. Oh, my flock has, has lost their jobs or something. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We've gotten eight, 880. Uh-huh. This is hard. This is going to be really, really hard, I think, um, to get this going. But it's going to be... Oh, we got a gold story, a brilliant story. That is awesome. Okay. Um... Yeah, that wasn't great. Was not great, but it's okay. So one of the things that I would like to do is let's go and grab the... Um, you know what? We're going to grab some sleep because I want to go do some fishing today. Oh, let's deal with the wine here first. I think I have... Yeah, I do. Look at this. I have another thing of wine to deal with here anymore. Pails of... Uh, no. None. Okay, that's fine. All right. Uh, let's put away. Um, wait. This stuff. Yeah, all the silver wine we want to put away, and I'll drink the the copper wine because the the silver wine is much more valuable, and we could sell this to um, the landlord over there. In fact, maybe I should just take it all with me. All the silver wine. It's almost a full-ish inventory of it. Um, you know what? Let's go sleep for, for a bit. There we go. We'll go sleep for a bit. And... Um, okay. Okay. 
Let's do some stone hewing or chopping or whatever you want to call it. Um, here we go. This is going to use up a lot of energy, but that's okay because we have lots and lots of plants. All right, great. Uh, and I would like to make the second stone cutting thingy thing. We'll, we'll get to that in a bit. Okay, let's leave the faith here. Oh, I forgot my prayer. Shoot. Okay, it's, it'll be okay. All right, it'll all be fine. We all know this. We, we know. We know the words. We say them often. I like the words. Let's go to town then. And we'll pick up any of these uh, bits here that we can get. Mostly I have moths. Moths are found during night time. And um, during the daytime you get butterflies from these, these plants. Well, it's a random chance, obviously. But um, they, are, they do count as different bait. There are three different baits uh, that you can collect like this. There's the moths, the, um, the butterflies, and of course the maggots that are found in the soil. Uh, like when you make compost so um and i think there's some somebody said there's a silver spinner that you can buy from the fisherman okay let's go here oh there's the actress all right let's trade you aha he's not paying very much for oh wait he maybe he is i don't know oh yeah there he's paying one silver oh wow he's not either He's only going to pay us 45 for each. If we, if we just gave him like 10, how much would he pay us? 92 each. Ah, <sighs> that's not good. So this is going to be 11. If we send all these, it's 41. Uh, we might as well. I mean, I think we might as well. This will be another eight. Okay. This is the way we got to do it, I think, um, unfortunately. Okay, let's go. Let's go back home, dejected, unhappy, alone. No, it'll be okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Ah, this is a lovely field of flowers where we can get a lot of these guys. Hopefully a lot of bugs so that we can go fishing. Ah, there's a butterfly, nice. There we go. Okay, not that many butterflies, but that's okay. Well, it's it's not that much of a hardship, I have to say. Did we, did I bring the fishing pole? I did. Uh, we just need to pick up some more bait at our house. We could take a look at the vine progress see how those are flowing oh there we go got a butterfly excellent sometimes you'll even get like two butterflies from each of the things okay not quite ready yet but it's okay we earned quite a lot of money from that wine so that's uh that's a good thing all right we want to grab now, I don't know if it matters if you fish during the day or night. That is not something that I know for certain. But we're going to take wine with us, so it should be just fine. Uh, okay, let's craft these guys. I almost think I should make another compost heap uh, out here. Uh, several people were having... <laughs> Uh, the most interesting time telling me, oh, you should build your trunks up here. But the thing is, is it's okay to build them here because there's uh, the, the garden beds take up three by three. Um, like if you see here, I, I couldn't fit them here anyway. So please don't panic about this. It's fine. Plus, it's very convenient for me to walk over there and just put them in. So let's go down this way and see what we got. I have cleared out the morgue and I've been collecting parts from the bodies that we will need for alchemy uh, once we get to that, which uh, will be soonish because I really do want to start making certain things like better candles. The upgraded candles have higher value and they draw in more people. 
uh, as interesting as that might seem, but um, it does work. So we will probably be making some of those. In our future is also many, many more gravestones. Now these higher upgraded gravestones, they require a lot more work, but they do actually give us blue points when we make them. Uh, and of course we can study them as well as many people have brought up. Um, so we have lots of ways of getting blue points, even if we um, lose the astrologer. So, okay, we're gonna try this. We're gonna try this with no bait. The thing that I have found about this fishing uh, game is that when the bobber bobs, you have to click it instantly. Uh, and I wish you didn't have to click it like instantly. Uh, that was my issue, I think, that I was having previously. All right, remember, we're not using any bait at the moment, but we will as soon as we get used to this. This mist is uh, interesting making it hard to see okay there we go I wish there was a little bit more leeway for clicking that but that's okay okay so with no bait this is what we get we can get a frog or a what is that thing is that a bream it's a gudgeon okay so let's go and next bait is we can fish with the gudgeon actually so let's go ahead and why not see what we can get There we go. Okay, so this one seems to have a little bit more leeway than on my test game, I have to say. Come on, this is exactly like Stardew fishing as it happens. We've got to perch that time. Um, let's go with the moth. Okay, let's see what's in this far out section. Okay, there we go. All right, so I hope you like Stardew Valley uh, fishing. Now, one thing you do not want to do is run out of energy. So we're gonna, let's go ahead and fill that back up real quick. Um, because if you happen to lose energy while you're doing this stuff, um, you'll lose the catch. So that is obviously not ideal. Cat, cat. Go away. Oh, see, I missed it and I lost energy there. Cat, please do not. Oh, <clears throat> yes. Sometimes cats can be extremely annoying. Normally I'm quite tolerant and happy for them to be doing stuff, but at some point it's like, no. Right, let's try with the butterfly. Or, I don't know if it's actually possible to catch anything else. I've heard that you need the upgraded fishing pole to try to catch the other um, fish that's here, which has red meat fillets, which is exactly what the bishop wants. Okay. All right, there we go. We've got another perch. All right, we're going to leave it at that. That's how you do it. It's pretty easy. You just have to click immediately when you see those ripples in the water. Since we're on this side of the world, I would like to go get some iron ore. I don't know what shape my pickaxe is in, but um, hopefully it's not too terrible. Let's get a little bit of coal. There we go. I guess we could keep on fishing uh, because I think the uh, one of the things that we really do need to do is get um, we need to sell things to the lighthouse keeper the fish so that we upgrade that thing and so he can sell us the better fishing pole yes my cat go ahead I, I feel like sometimes I have a highway on my desk with all the cats um, wanting to <laughs> to step this way in that. Another thing that I have noticed to my great disappointment is that it seems to be that pushing logs and bars of stone has now become a great deal more difficult. Uh, it used to be quite easy. Well, let's see how this is going. Oh, it's actually okay. Um, it's well ish the, the gaps, the, the funky juggling thing seems to be much more like random looking so it's quite difficult to push them together 
yeah, it's really very, very annoying. So unfortunately, it looks like that is, um, I guess the devs changed that for some reason. I don't know why. All right, let me just push these guys down. That's fun. Uh, it seems to be that you can juggle like one of them, but two is a lot more difficult. So you could do this, but see how it like goes all over the place? I don't know why that is happening. Um, and I don't know if it's intentional. I suspect it is, um, which would be unfortunate, but oh well. Not much I can do about it right now, other than say, bring us a cart. We want a cart. Because otherwise it's just very tedious to walk such a long way uh, to get stuff done. Okay, this is actually a very decent corpse. So what we're going to do, we'll take the blood out. Uh, and then we'll get the fat. So that it'll, it'll be a five star corpse or five skull corpse. Alright, empty the table. Grab the corpse. Send this stuff here. Okay, we'll go this way. And we're just going to bury the corpse. Even if we don't put any decorations around, it's better just to bury it. Okay. And we've gone, had that tiredness debuff. Wait, do I have anything? Okay, I do have in the trunk, I have this, but I don't think we'll, we'll add that. Not now. Okay, let's go and quickly get the other bar of stone, or the um, bar of iron ore, I should say. This is funky. The debuff doesn't seem to work if I'm carrying something, or I don't know if it's I'm walking or carrying something or what, but um, it's not doing the, you know, 0.1 or one, one energy lost per second thing. Okay, come on. Here we go. Much better. We can just carry these uh, iron ore bars to our uh, little stash over here. Yep. Not a fan of this change, I have to say. Really not a fan. That's okay, though. We got something happening. Let's go to sleep real quick. There we go. And we'll rest a bit. Okay, doing pretty good. Uh, let's wake up. I'm so refreshed. Excellent. So we got one fish, two fish. So we have three, four fish all together. It's pretty nice. I think I will put the the bait. I think I'll store it over here. In fact. Oh yes, we should do this. Yes. Go and get all this because we're gonna need the peat even if we do some things like uh, and I'll put the fish in here too. No, none of these are white uh, or red red meat fish, so we could process them at home. But I think we're just gonna sell them to the lighthouse keeper. Are these ready? The hemp? I think it is. Whoa! I didn't want onions. No, thank you. Darn it. Okay, fine. Oh, and by the way, um, somebody mentioned uh, about lentil seeds. They can be planted. I don't remember if we got any or not, but um, they can be planted with a trellis or the stick thing that you can get from here. I'll, I'll look what it's called in just a moment. Uh, onions, we can go down. Um, let's just take... They are called garden bed with sticks. So if we have five sticks, we'll be okay with this. Okay, we'll plant, let's plant the hemp again. Okay. Wow, another corpse already. Look at that. More hemp, let's go. I keep forgetting that I can leave these guys in the chest and just draw it from there when I want to plant it. That's really, really convenient. All right, let's look at the next corpse. See what we get here. Oh, 
Oh, wow. This is a nice one. This is a six one. Oh, that's perfect. And with only two red skulls, this is excellent. Okay. Take out the fat. Good, good, good. Okay. And empty the table. Put away the stuffs. Actually, I'll put this guy on the table here and go up to here um, and put the onions and the hemp away because I want the onions I probably shouldn't even go around because it's, it's not faster. No, no. Okay. We get all this. Yay. Okay. We'll put this in storage here. Get the onions over here. And we'll put the hemp in here too. And what I want to do is we're going to make some seed oil. That's going to be important. We've got plenty of rope, I think. I don't remember. Maybe we don't have enough rope. I know in my other game I have mountains of rope. Okay. Yeah, I ran out of wine. Not great. I keep forgetting that when I shift click, it also shift clicks my whole stash. Uh, which is not ideal, obviously. Oh, whoops. Okay, there we go. Very nice. Okay, and that's fine. Let's check if we have rope. And... Do I have... I have, yes, lots and lots and lots of rope. That's fine. We have six seed oil. Uh, we'll use that in many places. In fact, what we want to do is just extract that from the bottles, like the water. And what I'll do is I'll put half in here. We need um, 30 and then half take it up to the other crafting area. I do want to take the body to the, the graveyard so in case another one comes we won't have to deal with two of them being here. But we'll bury this uh, poor soul and uh, then we'll start getting on with making gravestones. In fact, maybe we should do that in the next episode. Hold on. There we go. Let's just dig this up here. Yes. Put you in there. Now, were we smart enough to buy any of the exhumation scrolls? Nope. Of course not. <laughs> I did this in my test game thinking that we'd always have, you know, a lot of access to this. Oh, the other thing that we could do is... Um, we could get the royal stamp. That one costs us 50, 50 silver. Um, I have to say that selling... Well, we can get a few of these, actually. We can get a, several, because we're going to need several. Um, selling the meat is not very profitable. I've tested this on my test game, and it isn't that exciting at all. So please don't worry about this. Like Things like this, we need to dig these people up. Like, this is not good. Okay, so let's go ahead and just dig this up. There we go. Why did that happen? Did I take a gravestone off the wrong thing? Hmm, yes, I want to exhume the body. Let's go. So... We're going to look at this body because we might need some of the parts. I'm not quite sure if we buried people without uh, parts or how this worked exactly. Why they're in such a poor state. Oh yes, we took out the bones. Um, I don't think we need anything else actually, so let's take the body. In fact, we could probably just dump them on the side of the road. Horribly enough. Okay, we'll chuck them over here. Uh, right. So then we have like this grave. What is going on with this one? Ah, that's one of the bodies we could actually do something with. Let's see about this grave. So this is two, two. That's another terrible one. Oh, this, um, this grave fence is actually, um, uh, what do you call it? Degrading? Degrading. That's interesting. That Somehow we got two gravestones from this thing. I'm not sure if that's a bug or what, but let's remove this. But yeah, we want to basically take out all the bodies that are not 
having all white skulls. Okay, let's exhume this body, yes. There we go. Because we want to have at least five or six score for every single grave that we have. All right, we're going to take out the bones because that's going to be important later for alchemy. Uh, the skin, yes, we can take that out. Like I said, the flesh, I don't think it's worth it. Honestly, it really, uh, yeah. Okay, do we have the other parts at all in here? We have a couple of things. I guess I could get one of each, like intestines and heart, because those are made into alchemical ingredients. Okay, let's grab this. Yes, yeah, just grab the brain out of the head. Ugh. And then the skull as well. And empty the table. Okay, so we're gonna put all this stuff in here. All right, and take the body. And take them both to the river. See, it's gotta go below the bridge. Looks like there's too many rocks underneath it, so they would get caught, I suppose. All right, good deal. So yes, we're, we're the grave robbers <laughs> taking up these poor people. Let's see if these are... Oh, this one is appropriate. Let's see, this is three, four, five. That's a good... We could do a nice... We do a fence here and then have a... Uh, get a better gravestone to make it worth the full five instead of just four. But I think we're going to have to leave this to the next episode because we're kind of running out of time. So um, I think this is, we've been very productive in this episode. I think we've gotten fishing done. We've gotten a lot of other things. I might take some time. Do I, how, what is our stone supply looking like right now? Oh, and I forgot to leave these over. Darn it. And I do need to study these guys uh, if we have enough faith. However, um, when you make the higher level gravestones, you also need faith to do those. So we have very, well, we have about 16 faith. Not a lot. We do have plenty of stone. That's good. Uh, we let's let me work on the iron stuff real quick, so we can at least get our furnaces producing, because that's kind of critical, just slightly. But yeah, it's gonna be a lot harder. Um, we might even have to start the apiary, which we I think I talked about that in the the episode previous, but we never really kind of got there. So that's something that's coming up for sure. All right. And coal. I'm just going to feed these guys coal seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this one gets the rest. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. There we go. E craft, 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 all the things. Okay, good. And you can just go ahead and make iron. Uh, we're not going to use that sand for glass because I think we have enough glass by now. We have like mountains of glass. We're good. Uh, okay, just make iron and we don't need any more steel. And I'm going to have a nap and we're going to save the game. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.